David Yates here. This is a FlexCore Minute. Today on the FlexCore Minute, I'm going to show you how to configure your FlexCore to use a single 9-volt battery. Mike Pope and I designed the FlexCore to be adaptable to most any base. The FlexCore is normally configured as an 18-volt system requiring two 9-volt batteries, but what if the cavity in your base does not have room for two 9-volt batteries? Well, we've got you covered. Converting the FlexCore from an 18-volt system to a 9-volt system is very easy and requires no soldering. Here's how to do it. Your flex core battery cable comes like this. You can see in this close-up how the connections are terminated. Here's a close-up of the actual pins that make up the connections. We're going to be removing three of the four wires and then reconnecting one wire in the connector housing. This will leave us with one 9-volt battery clip which we can discard and the other 9-volt battery clip connected to the connector. Simply take a small flat blade screwdriver and gently pry up the retaining feature and gently pull out the wire and connector. Gently is the key word here. Starting as shown, remove the middle two wires and the remaining black wire. Now what we have is a single 9 volt battery clip that needs to have the loose black wire placed in the far hole of the connector housing. Note that the pins are keyed and the little finger has to engage with the retaining feature on the connector housing. Simply slip the black wire into the far hole, leaving the two middle holes empty. Listen for the snap of the pin engaging in the retainer. Give it a gentle tug to make sure it is seated. If for some reason you have trouble with this, you can remove the red wire and discard the 9-volt clip and use a leftover one and simply do the same thing. Here's what it should look like when you're done. Be sure to observe the polarity. This is best done by leaving the red wire in place and orienting the black wire as I described. The flex core, while a robust design, does not like reverse polarity, and this will damage the system. No worries, if you follow these instructions, you'll be fine. With base preamps especially, 18 volts is preferable for a number of technical reasons. 9 volts works just fine, but we'll talk about these in a future installment of the flex core Minute. We have a number of customers using 9 volt configurations for their flex core, and they work great. We hope you can see that the flex core lives up to its name by being flexible for your base, your installation, and your playing. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to receive email updates on the Michael Pope Design webpage for the latest installments. I'm David Yates, and this has been a FlexCore Minute.